what the effect of Article 187 is, is that once you have a governing law chosen by the parties, a Swiss tribunal will only pay attention to that choice of law without regard for the law of the country in which the contract is to be performed. And that is different from English public law rules because um, I think we know, in fact, we look at the slide above, uh, slide 27, uh, under cases like Foster and Driscoll, Raleigh Brothers, and so on. A contract that's governed by Singapore law or English law, um, but is to be performed in a foreign country, can still be nullified if the foreign country uh, prevents the performance in the way that the parties have agreed. In other words, foreign uh, law being the place of performance will trump governing law simply because that's where you have to go and do your, your stuff. And um, that can be overridden uh, by a mandatory law in the place of performance. But the Swiss don't care. Uh, the Swiss only pay attention to the governing law and the seat. And so if you have a Swiss tribunal apply Swiss law, they don't look at any other law than the choice of law. And since Swiss law says influence pending contracts are not illegal, you can see a significant difference between cases emanating out of Switzerland and in common law countries. Um, I'm now, I want to go now to the standard of review. This is where you are in the secondary stage. You've got an award out of the tribunal, whether it is in favour of the claimant or the uh, respondent. And let's say it's going to be in favour of the claimant, because that's where you play the corruption card, either the first time or the second time. Um, that only is valid if the award is already in favour of the claimant. Here, what happens is that you have to, it all depends on uh, which country you get into. Um, and at slide 35, uh, I refer to a monograph, uh, which is the most comprehensive study on uh, corruption in international commercial arbitration by Abdul Hay Syed. Um, and Dr. Syed says that there are three judicial attitudes on scrutiny of awards on the grounds of public policy. There's minimal review, maximal review, and contextual review. Uh, now, minimal review is basically the uh, Swiss standard and the English standard. Uh, if you look at slide 37, uh, Frontier uh, against Thompson, uh, it's again a corruption case. Uh, here, the uh, people being influenced were Taiwanese. Um, they were analyzed, the tribunal was analyzing um, the old French penal code, uh, which had something similar to our section 163. Um, and they just took a quick look at it and refused to set it aside at the Swiss Federal Tribunal. And in the West Acre case, which I told you about, um, the respondent wanted to introduce new evidence uh, of bribery and perjury. But what uh, Justice Coleman said uh, was this was new evidence but not fresh evidence. So the test in England is that you must bring in fresh evidence which means not just that it was not evidence that had not been heard in the tribunal below but it was evidence that was not available to you at the time so that you could not have produced it before the tribunal and that it would make a critical difference to the outcome. So, in fact, this is the arbitration equivalent of land and martial for litigation. So, this is the minimal uh, review. As against that, you have maxi maximal review uh, at slide 40, which is that you have a total scrutiny of the award. Once you raise corruption, bang, all the, light, all the bells start ringing, and the court says, right, we hear it. I mean, of course, you don't call back the witnesses, but you have a complete review uh, on the merits. Uh, and this is illustrated at uh, 
slides 41 and 42 uh, by a very well-known case uh, called uh, European Gas Turbines Against Westman. And you will see that at slide 42, uh, the court held that it was entitled to conduct a de novo review of all matters of fact and law decided by the tribunal. Now, the interesting thing is that if you go to slide 40, uh, Nine. Slide 49. I, I'm jumping a little bit. Uh, but at slide 40, 49, uh, the case I told you about, Frontier AG and Thompson, where there was minimal review in Switzerland, and the court said, no, we don't find any evidence of corruption, we're not, just, we're not going to take this any further. 